top of the morning, everybody. I wanted to follow up from our Facebook video because you may uh, or may not get uh, a lot of questions off of it. And we're going to continue to have talking points that revolve around that and those antibody tests the rest of the week. That is the evidence um, that the medical community should be leaning on. Uh, but unfortunately, our decisions uh, do not reflect that. So what is antibody testing for the CAs? Antibody testing is a blood test you use to see if your immune system has the cells in there to fight off a certain virus. Now, how accurate is antibody testing? If you get kickback from your patients, um, that I have seen a few news articles of saying, ah, we've jumped the gun, we produce these antibody tests too quickly. Well, Johns Hopkins just um, put out a report and it shows uh, an 87 to 93% accuracy rate in antibody testing and specifically this COVID antibody testing. Now, the amazing thing about antibody testing is because it tests the people uh, for immunity that's already been built, on average, this test is two weeks behind. So the amazing numbers, the amount of infected that we came out with, one in five in New York from these antibody tests and 20% of the population, and bear with me, that, that is congruent with other COVID tests, by the way. If you extrapolate the numbers, um, a lot of countries, uh, I think it's Spain, the US, um, I believe it was Norway, that all came out and said, that if you extrapolate their numbers of positive COVID tests, about 20% of the population already has it. However, back to the antibody tests, two weeks behind. So you test this again in another two weeks, and the number of people who have already overcome this is going to exponentially uh, enlarge and get, and get bigger. Uh, and that's all great positive news that I want you to share with your patients. So because of this, I want everybody to be 100% not confident that this places COVID in the same, if not lower, in a mortality rate, a death rate, than moderate to severe seasonal flus. So today, remember, you're providing data for the patients. You're continuing to empower them to change their lives, right, and positively impact somebody else's based on the data. You're not confronting these patients. These are the patients who have already chosen to go against mainstream and get into your office and receive your care. They understand its importance. So I want you to be motivational. I want you to support their decisions and tell, it was, tell them it was the correct one. I want you to inspire them. I don't want you to attack them if any confrontation or questionings arise. So be passionate not only about them, but about humanity. Tell them your concern about this whole pandemic not causing people to get the care that they need. Allow them to be comfortable in this environment um, while you're telling them the concerns that this has caused uh, for you as far as uh, societal health. Have a great Monday.